Hey, how's it going? So you want to have a simple background just like mine, just with something with, you know, simplicity, whether it's for an audio music wheel or you just want some simple, you know, you just want some special effects on your own background that you want. Now, that's what I'm going to be doing for today, and hopefully I can be quick enough and not take more of your time. So, I'm not going to be in detail too much. I'm going to be kind of vague, so sorry about that, but I'm just... I feel like you'll better understand it if you try it on your own based on my settings. Alright, so first off, sorry if I'm going to be basically saying you need to buy it, but you need to buy Wallpaper Engine. <laughs> so, if you don't already have it, get it. So once you have Wallpaper Engine, which I'm hoping you do, <laughs> you basically want to go to the Steam Workshop settings. At the Steam Workshop, you should see all this stuff, basically all the wallpapers and the most popular to the most described to the most recent. Now you can download those, but what you're looking for is what I have, what I'm running. So what you want to do is go down, scroll down, and go to most described. From most described, you go to perfect wallpaper, it's in Japanese symbols click that one and just subscribe to it it has already default pictures so if you like one of these you can use them but if you want to use your own background you can and most of you probably want to use your own background even though it, you know these pictures are here are nice you just want to use your own so once you have that downloaded and installed you want to minimize this and go to your um, wallpaper engine <coughs> shortcut so you want to change your wallpaper and uh, based on how many monitors you have whether it's one or two select the one you want and click change wallpaper now don't worry about all this this is all my stuff that I've ever downloaded so you're not going to be using any of that stuff what you're going to be looking for is perfect wallpaper it's over here in Japanese symbol with a mountain click that and you should see these settings on the right side now I'm going to scroll through these and I'm going to be kind of vague with giving you answers but I'm just going to be selecting the most important parts. Now copy everything that I have here. If I'm going too fast, pause the video. So whether it's the audio, background, or the effects, copy everything. Now if you want to use your own background, you need to go to background options and click this little folder here. Once you click that folder here, click the picture that you want and import it. Once it's there, you should see that on your screen your background is there but you don't have the effects yet this is what we're getting into so for the effects just scroll down and copy everything that I have here the effects are basically just gonna be the 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 transparent sakura petals that you see here that are really trans like they're really ghosting in the background but that's the way that I have it and then the second ones are gonna be these little lines that are fading in and out and the third one is gonna be this circle here which is the audio now everything can literally be designed to something. It's just whether your preference, whether you like it the way I have it, or you just want to be experimental and change things. Now don't be scared to change things. Remember, I'm just I'm letting you copy my settings so that way you can have a better understanding and just change it from there so that way it suits you. But if you just like mine, then just stay with what I have. But like I said, copy everything that I have and just don't be scared to change something if you don't like it so bang 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 just copy 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 sorry if these are like a little cutting out for some reason like it doesn't let me like move it out the way so that way you can better see it just copy the best you can and check marks the ones that I have Now, you should be noticing that every time you change a setting, you should see things in the background changing. That's what it's changing. And this is what the background, the one that we downloaded, is letting us do. It's letting us, like, import, not import, but basically create our own effects that we like without downloading someone else's. So everything, even the time, the time correlation, the effects, everything. Just copy everything. <laughs> Okay, so we're towards the last part. So what you want to do here is weather. Now, well, it's not what you want to do, but basically if you want the kanji, if you want this Japanese symbols down here, all you have to do is open this up and look for weather, which should be towards the bottom. You want to enable it because it will be checked off on default. 
So as soon as you enable it, you should see it. And then remember, this is just weather. Or if you don't even care about weather and you just like, you know, the way it looks, then go ahead. <laughs> but if you do care about weather, you would just basically type in your city and it'll show you the weather or how it's, you know, out there. So again, copy everything. And the BGM here is just basically if you want to use custom music. So if you want to import your own music in the background while you do something, you can. But if you don't, you don't because I can understand it can get kind of annoying if you have, you know, just music constantly playing and you're trying to look like, uh, and you're trying to look at another YouTube video with sound. Now, I've imported music, but I left it on zero so it's basically like if i want to hear it i can just raise the volume and hear it but if i don't i'll just put it down to zero if it gets annoying but if you want to import music again you would click this little folder and you would open up the music that you want now it doesn't let you you it doesn't let you use wav or wave whatever you call it and it doesn't let you use mp3 files you need to basically transform the wave and mp3 files into an ogg if you look at the little box underneath my mouse you should see dot ogg so in order to get in dot ogg file to use for this background you need to go online and look for an ogg converter and then all you have to do is just press ok and you're done now just to show you proof that there's music actually playing and it does affect that circle i'm just going to play a little sample of music for just a few seconds so that way you can see that it works And there you go. So I have it simple like that because I don't like my circle going haywire crazy, but you can customize it so that way it goes haywire crazy. But the simplicity of it, whether when music is playing, that's the way I'll keep it as. So yeah, and that's about it. That's all I wanted to do and show you and hopefully that helps you. Again, sorry if I'm being vague, but I just wanted to show you my settings so that way you can adapt off that and make your own effects. But if you liked the way my background and effects look then just copy it completely through and change nothing at all so yeah that was about it hope you enjoyed the video hope it was <laughs> i hope it was fast enough <laughs> but if it wasn't my be my bad but uh yeah thank you and uh have a good one peace out